It is uh, 1117 now. Matt Wentz here. Does that say on the screen there? Am I seeing that correctly? 18 degrees? Is that what that says? Yeah, I think so. My eyes aren't deceiving me. Uh, okay. It's either that or the time. It's either 11, 18, or it's 18 <laughs> degrees, Russ. Can we flip that? Uh, we'll yeah. see what we can do. 81 yeah. 81 degrees, maybe? Just maybe. <laughs> all right. Maybe turn he that off. He wants out. to live in Florida all of a sudden today. I Russ has really been Florida. complaining about this cold today. Russ Mitchell. <laughs> I'm observing, not complaining. Okay. All right. All right. Well, here are your high temperatures today. Coldest day of the month today, last day of the month today. This is the fourth coldest day of the winter with our mid and upper 20s today. Not so bad though, but if we compare January so far, now that we're closing the book on it, in terms of days above 28 degrees, Every day was above 28, except for today, obviously being the coldest month. We averaged 21 days above 28 degrees, so uh, certainly has been a lot colder. And this is only the sixth time since 1871 that we've had every single day but one that hasn't reached uh, 20 or that's, you know, been above 28 degrees or higher, right? So uh, it's been warm. That's my point. All right, your temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be in the teens. We've got a cold start. We will have some lake effect clouds tomorrow morning as well. Some passing high clouds by evening. We're in the 20s. So another cold day tomorrow. Not quite as cold as today. Temperatures out there this evening generally in the teens, but you factor in the wind, which has been on the light side. Thank goodness blowing out of the northwest. These are your wind chill values. This is what you're going to wake up to tomorrow. Not much change in the air mass tonight. So single digits as you're out the door tomorrow morning. The cold air, it is plentiful. Look at the real estate on this all the way down towards Texas. This is what's causing the problems down south. We've got dry air in place that allowed for us to have some sunshine today, but where this cold air meets up with overrunning Gulf of Mexico moisture, we've got ice and that happens when temperatures are below freezing at the surface. So like in the 20s and then you get rain on top of that because you have warmer air aloft. You just it's just a mess. Trust me. And you're seeing all sorts of video coming in from Texas and areas of Tennessee and Arkansas, and that will continue tomorrow for us. Pretty quiet weather pattern models pick up on some snow flurries coming off the lake tomorrow morning. I would buy that because we do still have that cold air, a little bit of moisture out over the lake, so we may have some lake effect snow showers just early tomorrow. Some lake effect clouds out towards the snow belt. Rest of us are clear though, and we're in the 20s. I think near 30 degrees tomorrow afternoon. We are going to see a lot more sunshine tomorrow. We'll have this veiled high cloudiness coming in as we get towards the sunset tomorrow. Should make for a pretty nice sunset, and then the high clouds stick around for our Thursday, but another quiet day. We'll start to moderate those temperatures. In terms of sunshine this week, Week. Real good sun chance tomorrow, and then about 40% of the day should have sun on Thursday. Ditto that on Friday, even though we'll have some snow around. And then Saturday, some more sun back in the forecast. The big story from here, at least locally, is this next Arctic plunge. We get another hit of this that comes in here Thursday night, Friday. Shouldn't last long. It will for New England. This is going to be a big punch for them, even out towards Boston. And then the cold air retreats as we go on into next week as we start to moderate or moderate that air mass a little bit. Notice how as we go through time, here's our snow. It'll likely hit with a burst of snow Thursday night. Lake snow on Friday shouldn't be too big of a deal because we're going to turn those winds around quickly and then we're talking some rain next week. We're back to the rainy side of these systems again. Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. Look at the bounce back 15 on Friday and then we're up into the 40s to near 50 degrees to start next week with plenty of rain and snow chances. Overall, a very, very short lived frigid air mass coming in.